Well, you just heard from my all-time life mentor, Ranger Bill Troutman, the guy that got me started in this business from a very early age, seven in fact, and 30 plus years later, here I am teaching others about doing environmental education on television and using animals to do it. And I'm gonna introduce you to somebody who's really good at using animals as ambassadors, Sammy Netherton. Good to meet you, Sammy. We are at the Aware Wildlife Center just outside of Atlanta and Sammy, Introduce us to this black rat snake. Does he have a name? He does, yes. This nice. is Jeffrey. He is a black rat snake. Um, Jeffrey actually used to be out in the wild on the land that is around here. He nice. was hunting mice and rats around here, kind of helping with the rodent population. And then one day somebody was hiking up on the mountain and found him on the side of the path that they were walking along. And he looked like he'd been either uh, attacked by a dog or something Aww. else happened to him. And they brought him straight to us. and. We ended up knowing exactly who he was and he sustained some neurological symptoms that mm -hmm. allowed him not to really be able to hunt anymore and so that's why he's with us. Well and what's so special about AWARE and the work of what Sammy's doing is they're taking injured and, and orphaned wildlife out of the wild, helping them, releasing the ones that they can, but the ones that can't be released, they're using them as ambassadors of messages. And Sammy, it's so neat to hear you say Jeffrey, because naming that animal, we know from research we do right at the University of Georgia, that that helps from a learning standpoint. Such a cool thing. You know, this is non-venomous, right? Correct. Good, good. They don't pay us enough to mess with the venomous ones, right? But this is so interesting how you tell if a snake is venomous or not. It's kind of funny. Look at the shape of the eyes, vertical pupils, venomous, non-vertical, non-venomous. Or look at the shape of the head, triangular, venomous, oval shapes, non-venomous. You got to get pretty close to the head and the eyes to see what shape. So I just say when you see them out in the wild, leave them alone. Such a wonderful ambassador and a wonderful species here in Georgia. Sammy, I want to meet another one of your ambassadors and find out how you're using this other animal as a teaching tool. So let's go there next. Well, what you're looking at there is the result of an injury and so many wild animals get injured. And it's because of places like AWARE that take those animals in and then use them as ambassadors and help those animals. But I wanted to bring this to you today. Sammy, who are we looking at here? So this is Sydney. She is a juvenile possum, a Virginia opossum, mm -hmm. and she was found in somebody's yard. Um, they've, she likely fell off the back of her mom as she was getting a little bit older, and somebody found her and she wasn't old enough to survive on her own. And we determined that she had a leg injury that, um, what you first witnessed, where we amputated the le back left leg, we amputated above the injury. Um, in order to help her survive, um, she likely would not have been able to really deal with the leg injury the way that it was when we first got her. And so because of the leg injury, she's not able to climb as well. And so that's why we deemed her not able to survive in the wild on her own. And a, now a wonderful ambassador. It's impossible to know <laughs> the difference that she's making as an ambassador and helping other animals like her. I want to introduce you to one more special ambassador next. Let's do that. So we met Jeffrey, we met Sydney. Who are we looking at here? This is Lady Owlbert Einstein. She's a barred owl, so she's gonna be the most commonly heard owl in your backyard. Um, she was hit by a truck and the person behind her saw her get hit by the truck and contacted us and brought her into us. She sustained a permanent uh, wing injury to her left wing. Mm -hmm. See that there on the left, mm -hmm. yeah. That makes it where she can't fly as well in the wild, and so she's with us permanently due to that. And, and just, folks, the cuteness factor just off the scale here. Just want to pick them up and hug them. Such a cute. Sammy, if, if folks in the Atlanta area want to come out and see AWARE, what else could they see here? Um, here we have, we have some ambassador skunks with us. Okay. Um, and they are very feisty little skunks. We also have some red tail hawks and broad wing hawks. We okay. have eastern screech owls and bobcats as well. Uh, and all native things, all things you can find in Atlanta, Georgia, the southeast, wonderful stuff. So if somebody's driving down the road, they find an injured owl, they find a possum in their yard, what do you recommend they do? What can we do to help these? The first step would be to contact the nearest rehabber that you can find in your state or city. Okay. Um, contacting it first is always recommended so that we can determine if they need to be left alone or yes. if they need to be brought into a rehabber. Um, and if you're in the Atlanta area, you can always contact us by email at help at awarewildlife.org. We're going to put that on the screen and their website up there. Wonderful. Sammy, thank you so much for spending time. What an outstanding way, right, to end this 50th segment. And y'all, I got to thank you for spending 50 times with us. And I got to send a special shout out and a special thank you 
Ray D'Alessio. He's the guy that comes out, whether it's in a cave or the runway at the world's busiest airport or chasing venomous snakes in central Georgia. He's out there every time with me shooting these shows and making me look like I know halfway what I'm doing. Thank you so much, Ray, for doing that. And our friendship is just something I really cherish. And y'all, thank you so much for watching. Check us out on Facebook. And until next time, until number 51, I'm Ranger Nick reminding you that enthusiasm is contagious, so pass it on. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all number 51 next month. See ya.